here is a simple gel cell type battery charger circuit that I found on the internet. I think it's uh, Talking Electronics. And um, this is not really a automatic charge controller because once the charge charging voltage is reached, it will stop charging. But I don't think it uh, it cuts in again at a lower voltage. I think you have to reset it or and plug it back in or switch it on for it to recharge. And right now, I'm just assembling all the parts to uh, to do this project. And let me go over this with you for those who are interested. This is a fairly simple circuit. This is the uh, chip that I'm using for this uh, circuit. This is the 3M uh, LM317T. And then the circuit calls for red LED. I don't have one, so I just clipped off a green LED. I think there's similar voltage. And then you have here a BC547 transistor, which I have plenty of. And uh, I have a 1 ohm resistor here, 1 watt. And depending on what charging current you want to charge, you can change the resistance of the 1 watt resistor. You can change it to 2.2 ohm uh, if you want a lower charging uh, current. This will um, allow 1 ohm will allow about 650 MA uh, of charging current uh, to your seal lead acid battery or the AGM type battery. Then over here uh, you have a 470 ohm resistor, a 5K variable resistor something like this has three legs on them or you can get something like this, this is similar the uh, code is 502 I've learned a lot uh, when I'm doing this uh, like there's a chart here that tells you the resistance code for the different numbers like 502 would be 5k ohm yeah 502 would be 5k ohm um, variable resistor so both of these even though they are different looking they are both coded 502 so I guess you can use either one of them okay and um, another small resistor here 2k2 let me see what else. And then you have two small disk capacitors here. This is uh, 0 0.01 microfarad. I don't have uh, capacitors like that, the disk capacitors. I'm going to see if I can use this one here as an electrolytic. And this is one microfarad. So this is not what the circuit calls for. I, ho I hope it will work uh, if I use this. I think the capacitor is basically to smooth out the, uh, the voltage. And then this end over, over here, it goes to your AGM or your seal lead acid battery. This is the negative rail and here's the positive rail. And this is where your input is. I'm trying to see if I can use a solar panel instead of a power plug. You can use a power plug uh, for a 500 MA output at uh, open voltage about 18 volts or so. Uh, if you have a 12 volt solar panel, usually the open voltage would be 18 to 21 open voltage. So since I'm interested in solar stuff, I'm going to try connecting maybe a 5 watt to 10 watt solar panel as the power source for this circuit. 
of course, it would have been much better if uh, you make a controller with the automatic cut in and, and cut off. But uh, I am still waiting for some relays to come uh, to make that kind of uh, charge controller. So I'm going to start playing around and, and make this simple uh, char charge uh, regulator. I hesitate to call it controller. So basically you can adjust the voltage to about 13.4 volt with this variable resistor here and when the uh, when it is charging the green, the green LED would be on and when the voltage is reach uh, about 13.4 the light will go out and and that indicates the uh, the end of the charging. So these are all the parts that are needed and this is uh, part one of my little project and uh, for those of you that might be interested in the variable resistor I have hooked it up. This is a 5k resistor and over here as, as it is connected it shows 5k you turn it to the 20k range and when I turn the part you can see the reading the resistance changes and this would affect your the voltage cutoff um, and this is how that variable resistor is connected. It has three pins. If you just connect the two bottom pins from uh, one side to, to the other, this will act as sort of like a regular resistor. It will be 5K. But if you connect from your, 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 your incoming signal, if you connect it to this dot and this dot, and then the other end is connected to this dot, uh, this dot over here. Then this will become a variable resistor when you turn the trim part at the other end. And uh, basically, it's the same thing here with this, with this trim part. And this is the. I took a picture to remind myself how this is connected. Right? You connect two of them together. Then when you turn this, the uh, resistance changes. I'm going to see if I can assemble everything in this circuit board here. And this will be my simple charge controller.